Hi, I'm Jan Elias of the Yale School of Management. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Yale stock trading game. In this game, your objective is to maximize the value of your portfolio of stocks and cash. There are four companies in our game in which you can own stock, each designated by a color. The value of your portfolio is determined by the underlying liquidation value of your stocks and cash. So remember, it is the underlying value of each stock that is important, not the market value determined by the last trade. You could very well have the portfolio with the highest market value and still lose the game. The underlying value of each company is secret until the end of the game. At the beginning of the game, the computer randomly determines the underlying value of each company by choosing a stack of 10 cards from two decks of cards. We say cards because when the game was invented, actual playing cards were used and the terminology persists. Each card has a numerical value corresponding to its card value. Face cards equal 10 and aces equal 20. The value of each black card is multiplied by two and each red card is multiplied by negative one. The value of the company is the sum of the values for all 10 cards, with the exception that if the total value comes to less than zero, the company is valued at zero. At the beginning of the game, the market price for each company is set to $40 a share, the average of all possible card combinations. But the real underlying value could be very different. For example, let's say the 10 cards that determine the green company's value are negative 10, negative 10, four, eight, eight, 40, negative two, 10, six, and negative six. In this case, the underlying value of a share of green stock is actually $48. So when the game ended, this would be the share value used to determine the value of your holdings in the green company. The value of all the other companies will be determined in the same way. Each company stack is chosen at random from different decks, meaning the values of the companies are entirely independent of one another. It is possible that all companies are worth more than $40 a share, or that all companies are worth less than $40 a share. Each game is different because the cards are randomly selected from separate decks. At the start of the game, you and everyone else playing the game are given five shares of each of the four companies plus $200 in cash, a portfolio with an estimated value of $1,000. How you manage that initial portfolio will determine whether you win or lose the game. 